People are frustrated. The frustration continues to grow here in Imperial Beach. Uh, they tell us the situation is not getting any better. In fact, it's getting even worse. Now, it is a known fact that the beach right behind me, Imperial Beach, is tainted with the Juana sewage. It's why there are yellow signs here letting people know, warning them to stay out of the water. But now the attention has shifted to the field near that wastewater treatment facility where you can see piles of trash. It is a clear reflection of what I'm talking about, what you, Netta, have been been reporting on what leaders have been complaining about and what residents have been complaining about. So we're talking 14 and a half billion gallons of raw sewage. This is actually uh, this actually happened during the January 22nd floods. It's now been six weeks since the devastating storms, uh, but the trash remains here without any progress of getting cleaned up. Many residents are fed up with the ongoing issues surrounding the Tijuana River sewage crisis. Now, part of the issue is the piles of debris that continue to clog the culverts that are supposed to push water from the Tijuana River to Toward the ocean. CBS 8 actually reached out to the International Boundary and Water Commission. This is the agency in charge of cleaning it up. They tell us they're going to be deploying staff and equipment from one of their Rio Grande offices in Texas to San Diego so they can remove the trash from the area. But the question remains how long is that going to take? When will it all get cleaned up? For people who live nearby, they say the acres of plastic, tires, and debris, which is ending up in the ocean, is not just an eyesore, but a public health and environmental issue as well. It's in the air as well as the water. And it doesn't just affect us. You know, the tide goes both ways. And so the agency actually tells us that uh, they sent one of their Texas managers to assess some of the cleanup uh, that needs to happen in that area. But they say because it is not fully dried out, they can't uh, start that process. So hopefully that process will start very soon, especially for residents who are complaining about a stench in this area and definitely all of the trash that you're seeing with those videos that we just showed you. Eric and